So here we have the Toyota CHR hybrid automatic on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot. We'll then hop inside the car and run through some controls from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, which we wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the right-hand side, we have the speedometer and fuel gauge. On the left-hand side, we have the dial that lets you know whether the motors are charging, whether you're driving in eco mode or using the power band for the car. It'll also show you over there whether you are uh, in the kind of electric mode or petrol mode. We are in the petrol mode, as you might better hear at the moment. Uh, otherwise, you would have a button up here that said EV uh, in green to let you know that you were in the electric vehicle mode. In the centre at the bottom, you can see the total miles for this car, which is 6,328. Above that, we have various bits of trip computer information, including a digital readout for the speedometer. Uh, you can access and change all of those using the buttons on the right-hand side of the steering wheel, just here. Beneath that, we have cruise control, and you can set the cruise control from here. We have lane departure warning system as well. Over on the left-hand side, we have phone controls and then stereo controls. Over in the centre is the touchscreen stereo for the car, and you can see here the different ways in which you can listen to your own music. Uh, they include Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly, as well as making and receiving phone calls. And you can, of course, listen to the radio. We have AM, FM, and DAB radio all available in this car. If I pop the vehicle into reverse, you'll see we've got a full colour reversing camera with guidelines that show you what direction you're headed in, in relation to the image being shown on the screen. And then if we press uh, just here, we have the satellite navigation as well. There's a full video that shows how this works on both our website and on our YouTube channel. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine where you'd like the air to be diverted once it enters the car. When you're happy with those settings, you can turn the air conditioning on. It's on at the minute, so off, back on again, or hit auto. The car will now maintain those temperatures for you by taking full control of the fan speed, which you can override at any time, and you'll now be back on a manual setting again. We also have a heated driver's seat and heated passenger seat, both with three different heat settings each. Working our way down from that, we have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. We have auxiliary and USB inputs as well, an electronic handbrake, and then these buttons just here. So we can turn the traction control off, we can put auto hold function on for the handbrake. And if this vehicle has enough charge, you can force its electric vehicle mode, which, as I mentioned before, will now be displayed in that central section in green. You see it says EV mode uh, and then EV to the left of it. That's letting you know the, the car is now in its electric vehicle uh, output. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.